Hello and welcome back to the web development course. So in this session, we'll be looking at reviewing the most popular or the most important HTML elements. So we've already started looking at some elements. We've looked at the heading and we understand the P tag potentially. Uh, so here we're going to go through a, li through a list of around about 20 different important or most popular HTML elements that you'll need to know to get developing with HTML. So first up then is going to be the heading tag. So we've already discussed this, but we'll include this. So this is the, the heading tags. This is where we're going to create headings um, from the most important H1 to the less important H6. So we can see that in action. Here we have a heading. Okay, so next up is the paragraph or the P tag. So this is for text. This is where we're going to have groups of text or elements with text inside. So we can see that in action. By default, it's going to look just like that. Probably not recommended to use in live sites, but the BR tag, this is going to basically force a line break. So imagine this, for example, we're nest this. Imagine we've got some text here and we want to force a line because if we just type here or if we do this, for example, you'll notice that when I go back, still on the same line even though we formatted it on a separate line so to force a line break we can we can press uh, or create a br tag so it doesn't need an opening and a close and this is going to create a line break and then we go back and we have a line break so that's the br tag so let's create a link or an anchor so you probably use this hundreds of times you click on a link, it takes you to another page. So A, so we're going to need a set of A tags. And then in order to create a link, we're going to need some attributes. So href equals. And then inside of here will be the actual link. So for example, http colon slash slash google.com. And inside of the brackets or in between the brackets, you're going to type in the name of the link. So in this case, I'd type Google. So that's how you're going to build a simple link to another page or web resource. So let's have a look at that in action. There we go. Okay, so the next up, next up is looking at how to create an image on the page. So here we're going to use the IMG, the image tag. And again, this won't need closing. So what we're going to need in here to actually define what image to show, we're going to need a SRC, a source equals and then in here we're going to type the name of the image file dot jpeg or whatever the file extension is and that's going to create a an image on the page so this doesn't come with an example i'm not linking an image here but that's how you're going to create an image on the page we'll look at this in more detail in a in a later tutorial okay so the next element is the hr tag which defines a thematic change in the content. Essentially, this is going to generate a, a, a thematic break or a horizontal rule that spans the page. Um, so let's see this in action. So we've got some content. So we'll add some more content right there. We want to make a, a break. So we put in the HR tag. So let's just see that in action. There we go. So this is what's been applied. The HR tag has applied a horizontal rule across the page, just showing a break between this text and this text. So at some point, you're going to want to write some comments in your code. It can be good practice to comment your code. So with HTML, we're going to use the angle bracket, exclamation mark, dash, dash, and then we're going to write something. Hello world. For example, you see this is multi-line, so we can type in multi-lines by moving the, the the n dash dash bracket or angle bracket, sorry. Um, and there we go. So this is how to create comments with HTML. So next up is the pre tag. So for example, here I gave the example earlier where I wanted to break text in this p tag. I wanted to create a new line and I couldn't do that unless I used the br tag. So a pre tag 
defines a pre-formatted text. So let's just create a pre-tag right here. So it opens and it closes. So if I type some text in here now, hello, and then make a line break. How are oh, you? So the pre-tag text in here will follow the format that you've provided here. So for example, if I go back in, you can now see I've got the same format. It's been pre-formatted here and it's just now been displayed on the page. So at some point we need to add maybe some JavaScript and we can do that by including the script tags. So if we're going to provide JavaScript on this page, we would enter some script tags and then start typing, typing some Java script in here. So this is the script tag for using, used to define JavaScript on the page. So we can also use the underline tag, U. So this type of styling here is probably better done with uh, CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, and we'll look at that later on in this course. Um, but for example, if I underline that, there we go, it's now underlined. And similar to that, if I use I, for example, I tag, then that's then going to become italic. And there we go. So a little bit of pre-formatting there that we can do. But like I said, this may be better done with Cascading Style Sheets CSS rather than using a tag. Okay, so that pretty much summarizes all the most important tags that you're going to use. It's fairly simple to understand. We just need to remember those few tags and we'll be good to go developing simple websites. Now, some tags that I have missed, um, particularly the, the... So that isn't by any means a comprehensive list of all the tags or elements that's available in HTML. There are hundreds. Uh, so if you wanted to check them out, then please do. But we have covered the basics that you'll need to get started with HTML. And you can go look at any HTML page online. You'll notice you'll find some similarities between them. There's, there's going to be a lot of div tags. So we haven't mentioned div. There's going to be, uh, for example, tables and potentially then forms. and potentially also the span elements. So we'll be utilizing these tags or these elements later on, and I'm going to individually introduce these in separate tutorials. Okay, so there we have it, a simple review of the popular important HTML elements or tags. Uh, so we discussed multiple elements there, or at least I breezed through, give you a rough idea of the most important elements. So all you need to do is remember those and we'll be good to develop further. So as we go through the course, I would add more. So for example, the div tag, the table tag, span tag, etc. But you'll become familiarized with them really quickly because you'll be utilizing them a lot potentially. So on to the next tutorial.